Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Fuss Fishing. We are of course out hauling the lobster pots, and uh, you know, there's a window of fairly decent weather for two days. So I'm hauling the pots and then I'm moving them out uh, in open water. And these pots have been soaking for only one night now. And uh, still in spots that I haven't fished before. So I'm hoping for a surprise or two. But crabs, crabs are no surprise, huh? Oh man, let's see. Now I have a, a friend who wants a couple of crabs today. So I'm gonna see if there might be some worth bringing, bringing with me today. Ah, oh, no. Okay. I'll save this for now. And this, yeah, I guess. And then, yeah, we're just off to the next one. Let's go. So, pot number two. Ah, it would be so nice to have just see a lobster at least today. But, uh, I've lost, I've lost confidence after these, this last week here. Nope, just a few crabs. That's a nice male I'm gonna keep. That's a nice one, I hope. Okay, so off to the next one. Huh? Ah, so we are at pot number three. And uh, fingers crossed, come on. More crabs. And I can't really see anything worth keeping here even. So uh, let's just move on to the next one. Nope. Okay, so pot number four. And then afterwards we're heading out and to see if we can find that pot that I, I just couldn't retrieve last trip because the weather was just so bad. But uh, this one first, come on, come on. Ah, more crabs. And then a, a female cocoa wrasse. It's a bit small. But I'll show you. And they turn into males. If there are no males in the area, they become a male themselves, taking matters into their own hands. 
Yeah, that's perfectly fine. And then, anything worth keeping here? No, doesn't look like it. Nope, okay, off to the next one, hopefully. Okay, so part number five. It wasn't very difficult to find this one. It was just a bad weather that had dragged the, the buoy under. This part has been soaking for <coughs> three nights, I think now. Oh, and surprise, surprise, we got crabs. Oh, that is a big bull. Let's hope it's not recently shed its shell. That looks, looks okay, that one. No, it doesn't. Ah, oh, that is too bad. That is a big male, but uh, it is soft. Yeah, really soft. So, that's it then. Okay, we still have the five uh, regular lobster pots left. So uh, let's head over there. Well guys, then we are off to the first of the regular lobster pots. Now, oh, come on. Oh, that is a lot of crabs and nothing else. That's a big male, but uh, even though it's got big claws, it's just shed its shell, so there's no point in keeping it. And that same goes for most of these. So off to the next one. Part number seven. Come on, show yourself. Nope. That is a really big bull. But I think that is empty. Let's see, let's see. Yeah. That is uh, just soft. Unfortunately, it's a big one, huh? But uh, there won't be anything in it. It's light and... Yeah. Okay. Off to the next one. So, part number eight. <laughs> <laughs> just the amount of crabs, huh? It just doesn't stop to amaze me. Oh. I've caught a few big bulls now, but uh, they're all uh, very light in the shell, so they just shed it, and uh, they need a fair amount of time before they manage to fill up the muscles after they had a, a molt acid. It's called. Okay, still two more chances. Off to the next one. Pot number nine. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, that is just so many crabs. I'm gonna do this. You know, I don't want them. Okay, one more chance. And then we're out of here. But the thing is that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm fairly happy because tomorrow it's gonna be nice weather. And so I've managed to set, well, the, um, the deep sea pots I've set 
far out where uh, hopefully there hasn't been that many pots uh, during uh, lobster season. And so if I'm lucky tomorrow, tomorrow will be the day when the lobsters are back. But yeah, we'll just have to see. Off to the last one. Here it comes. Last chance, come on! <laughs> oh. I mean, that is an average of 20 crabs per pot. That is just crazy. Now, is this maybe something worth keeping, this one? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, hopefully that's a nice male with some meat in it. Beside that, there is nothing. So off you go. Okay, but uh, all hopes up for tomorrow. And uh, you know, it can't get any worse than this hole and the last hole and the hole before that and the hole before that. Oh, just so many crabs. I'm sick and tired. But uh, you know, there are still lobsters down there somewhere. Just have to find them. But uh, I guess I'll make this a double episode because I'll be out again tomorrow. And so uh, I'll see you in a couple of seconds to haul uh, the pots for a second time. <sighs> and so we're back out, guys. Yesterday was a beautiful day and today is the same. So I actually got to set the pots where I want to. I got big expectations for the haul today. There are no excuses. If I don't catch a lobster today, ah. <sighs> But of course, only crabs in the first part. But as I said, there's a gap in the bad weather. Yesterday and today, uh, Saturday and Sunday. I think it's the 12th and today is the 13th, isn't it? And I have had the opportunity to set the pots at what I consider to be some oh, terrific spots. The air ducks. Uh, but, touche, nothing in the first one, but uh, that doesn't mean that we won't catch a lobster. So, off to the next one, I guess, huh? See you there. So the rest of the coming week is uh, gonna be uh, really bad weather, but the, the wind is gonna change. So I have to move all my pots. Now, pot number two, come on. Nah, crabs, more crabs. I had great expectations for this, this location here. But, 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 okay, off to the next one. So, pass number three. And I don't know if I said this, but I'm holding the regular lobster pots first. So, come on. <laughs> oh, two crabs. Oh, man. It's devastating. My hopes were so high. Oh, and then this. Well, off to the next one. Okay, part number four. Come on. Oh. Ah, crabs. That is the smallest crab I have caught this season, actually. 
Look at that little thing. And then, yeah, off to the next, I guess. Okay, last chance at this spot before we move on to the deep sea parts. So, and fingers crossed, come on now. Come on. More crabs. Just a lot of crabs. <clears throat> So disappointed. Oh man. Well, there's nothing I can do about that now. So, uh, I'll keep grinding and uh, rebait, reset, and uh, then we're off to the deep sea pots. So, uh, stay tuned and uh, see you in a couple of seconds. Okay, so this will be part number eight and uh, I'm unsure. I think maybe uh, the battery went dead before you got to see the last part, but it was empty so you didn't miss much. So here comes part number eight, that is. Let's see, is there anything else in there? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Whoa. No, only crabs <laughs> and no keepers. So, off to the next one. Huh? Huh. I would have kept this. Had I been planning on a crab dinner, I am not. Okay, so we're at pot number nine. And uh, yeah, hope is fading faster. But uh, this might be the one, come on. Nope. That is just a poor hole in general. <laughs> Crabs. Oh, oh man. Okay, off to the last one. Okay, last part and last chance. For today, at least. Come on. Come on. Oh. No. Oh. That is just a couple of crabs and nothing else in there oh. another disappointing hole huh ah, too bad i mean if i don't catch continue to catch crabs for the next two weeks now it'll be a a November totally without lobsters and that is just tragic okay but thanks for watching guys and uh, I appreciate every one of you watching these videos even though I screw up and don't catch any lobsters you know you can't blame me for not trying at least so uh, I'll try and get out again uh, 
fairly soon, but uh, the weather is not on the on my side, and uh, I got work all uh, every day next week. So maybe it'll actually be uh, six days till I can uh, head out again and uh, hold the parts. So uh, and the weather, uh, the wind is shifting from uh, from uh, west till to, uh, uh, to uh, east, and so I have to move the parts uh, somewhere where they are not as exposed to the bad weather. But uh, thanks for watching. This is Foss Fishing. My name is Rune. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like to follow me through. Uh, the rest of the season and uh, of course I'll be back next year, you know, so uh, Don't forget click the button Okay, take care guys